Everybody has their own signature, their own direction. And when you ask anyone here in this room to write their name, they're all going to be very different. And some people will probably, you know, some calligraphy will add. And that, that R starts to now sprout legs, suggesting, you know, dance. And then when it becomes radical, the R is right there. And it just has a kick to it. And then the MLZ brings it to another level where it becomes so abstract, it's still an R, but it becomes an animal. It just morphs into a whole thing. And then when you add another letter to that, it just becomes this whole abstract war machine. It's pretty amazing. You know, Taki would write like this, literally like this, crude, in 1970. And if he probably would have kept writing, he probably would have made the T like that, and then the, the K, and then the I, and then it becomes more stylistic, you know, more calligraphy, and it becomes more attractive, you know? So that's what we were doing, but we were actually not realizing creating this like really kind of like new language. You wanna... <laughs>